Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Hustle Castle. Um, Portal just opened yesterday and uh, I guess since it opened yesterday so why not just do a video about it and uh, give you my you know my opinion of what Portal is and how it has been for me. So uh, for the benefit of those who have not uh, checked out Portal yet you can access portal by clicking on map and then portal is right here now portal you can just look at it as another farm area whereby you can you know spend time uh, spend time and food uh, you know uh, clearing levels and then you collect uh, stuff uh, primarily you are trying to build up your shards your purple shards and then uh, your orange colored gears your legendary gears now uh, it is also said that portal is a farming haven if you are at you know tr5 6 or 7 and as you go into tr8 it may not be that uh, no cost effective anymore but ever since hustle castle rolled up the uh, you know the latest update uh, you know a couple of weeks back uh, which changed portal portal has gotten much more interesting and has been much more cost efficient and uh, it may be helpful to you as well uh, even just to you know clear the few levels of portal and to stock up on perhaps food okay um, so what I'm talking about here so hi my name is Abel and uh, if you stick around I'm going to show you how okay now if you notice portal has uh like one new thing okay uh, you can't really see it here because uh i've actually triggered it yesterday okay uh, let's go back to level one level one level one come on level one level one let's see if the button is still there no it's not oh well okay what change in portal was this there was another button here okay i hope you can see the mouse cursor here here okay i'm clicking here okay here just below level one okay uh it's an advertisement okay but what's so special about this advertisement is this once you click on it it jumps you to the last click level that you have ever achieved so which means that if you have only achieve like you know the highest level of level 60 that kind of thing so when portal opens the moment you click on that add button once you have finished watching the ad it will jump you straight to level 60 and you can just continue you know to farm your stuff from there now before what happened was this is that when portal opens even though you have cleared up to level 80 you got to work your way up to level 80 again and the whole process is tedious and it's not cost effective because the amount of food that you spend clearing those levels and the amount of food that you get back from the chest is not worth it another thing about the advertisements of portal is this is that um, you know you, you notice all these free uh, free souls that you can get okay by watching advertisements okay so every day you're given like five and if you were to watch all five of them it gives you souls five times now what can you do with the souls is this is that if you click on the store so let's do some maths here 230 free souls every time i watch it now 230 is only like uh you you get this figure if you're on tr9 so uh, it scales according to your tr and for tr9 is 230 if you have uh, done five times of it so it'll give you like uh how much is it? One one five zero, okay, yeah, uh, eleven hundred and fifty souls. Now with eleven hundred fifty souls, even though it doesn't seem a lot, because when you click on store, the first thing you see is legendary item is 
priced at 28,000. So 1,000 doesn't really do much. But with the 1,150 souls, you can, you can, no, you can buy a random resident. Now, what's so good about the random resident is that it has a chance or the potential to be a three to a five star one. So if you are like, you know, if you didn't start uh, breeding your dwellers early in game and you have a mixture of, you know, two stars, three stars, one stars, four stars, that kind of thing, and you really want to get them all to five stars so you can maximize their potential, these free souls that you can get from Portal could help you very much to achieve that. So uh, normally Portal lasts like, you know, uh, over the weekend. So it starts on Friday, so Saturday you still get it, Sunday you might still get it, and Monday or Tuesday will be gone. Now, how long Portal is open, it all depends on basically what you can redeem from the store. Now, I noticed that once you are able to redeem a random legendary amulet or ring, uh, somehow uh, Portal closes much faster than you know anything else like legendary armor or weapon okay but if it's amulet or ring it goes much faster now to prove my point whether it's correct or not if you click on portal see the amount of dark souls left in portal it was full yesterday and it's only a day and it's not even a day yet because it's only like a it, it takes another half an hour to be a full day that kind of thing you know from the time it open so you see it's more than half gone so that that actually proves that a lot of people are actually farming souls in portal and i believe that this is the motivational factor because uh, you can you know farm and redeem leg legendary amulets from it now uh for those of you who are at tr8 tr9 and above you do know that you know if you were to craft legendary accessories like rings and amulets from your workshops chances of you getting good slots are like crappy you know most of the time you get spell power in them for amulet and uh, it takes a very very long time a lot a lot of purple shards to really really get a good legendary ring or amulet so yeah so please do your freebies daily five times a day and uh, once you have finished it you can actually get yourself a random resident or you can save it up and get a purple shot which is very sad right yeah for the amount of time effort you only get a purple shot so or you can get some diamonds also very sad because the amount that you get is like very little okay now what i wanted to highlight isn't that alone i want to highlight was this is that once you click on the ad here it jumps you to the last click level and you do know that certain levels they reward you an additional chest and those additional chests inside uh they reward you with food as well so even though you have like cleared portals in the past and then you discovered that portals are not so efficient anymore you know food efficient because uh, uh last time you you needed to work your way up in order to get that very, very good chest and the amount that is rewarding you isn't good enough to cover you know the amount that you have spent for the entire journey but now it's not anymore so if you look at the chest uh it should be able to cover your effort and also will give you a little bit more of resources uh once you have cleared those higher levels. Now, I would recommend you strongly to clear levels from level 50 and above, okay? So once you have, you have done your jump, so start working from, you know, the top until to level 50-ish or so. If I'm mistaken, level 48 or 6, I, I, could, I couldn't remember what, uh, which was the last level that, uh, that, that still rewards you with chess. But yeah, basically the whole idea is, you know, if you have managed to clear portal, you know, at least level 50, click on the add button, jump to the last level you have completed, and then you, have, you clear those boss levels that, uh, you know, reward you with 
the chess, the additional chess. And I tell you, it's worth it, okay? Because other than chess, uh, other than the, sorry, other than the food that you're getting, you're getting other stuffs from the chess as well. So what are the other stuffs that you could get from the chess would be, I believe these are the higher level uh, chess. So I believe this is the level 80 one. So if you manage to finish level 80, click on the jump, you can clear it again. And just look at the food. 220,000 food alone. Okay, you can ignore the rest, but just look at the food alone because you got to see your ROI, right? Return on investment. So to get into or to clear level 80, you need around like 55,000 food, if I'm not mistaken, but it's giving you back 220,000. And on top of that, you can get the rest of the, uh, the other resources as well, which you can actually use for your upgrading. If you are planning to upgrade your room, your TR, and on top of that, you get a new dweller and the dwellers uh, potential could be you know a two star up to five star so why not and you can get luxury item epic rare and so on and so forth so yeah for me i would encourage you to just do it and even if you don't need the food uh, because uh, maybe you you have a very stable or you have found a very stable and consistent way to generate your food per hour or you know you get them somewhere and you don't require that much food uh, every day you're you know you're trying to do your dailies and whatnot okay keep those chests with you because uh, they can be found useful or beneficial to you whenever you need to upgrade your throne room upgrade any rooms in your castle that's when your resources gets you know uh, very very low critically low and all these chests you know especially higher level level ones could give you the extra boost or the extra speed to get you you know uh, to catch you up on speed once you have just upgraded to a new tr so yeah do check out portal do not miss it uh halfway to go so i'm projecting that by tomorrow portal should be closed already so there's still time uh so if you are not you know uh trying to redeem anything expensive from the store just go ahead and do the freebies and i tell you it'll be worth it so long as you have managed to clear a minimum of 50 levels in your current progress or achievement so yeah i hope this video has helped you to uh, realize something if it has not made known to you yet and uh, it will help you to you know build a more stable income and also uh, especially when it comes to food food is always lacking and somehow you need to like you know purchase them with diamonds or you need open chests you need to give you know uh, resources to your friends open those resource gift chests and whatnot so it's something that is always uh, in demand and you can never have you know too much of it that kind of thing so yeah i'm actually uh, trying to farm for my second uh Amulet. I've redeemed one yesterday and I've actually redeemed like six dwellers and I've gotten two five star ones. So uh, I'm actually trying to max out all my dwellers. Okay, so I have four more to go. And if you look at my stats, um, castle, yeah, they are the full five star right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy yourself and have a blessed weekend. Take care and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.